very famous writer that is Agatha Christie. So let's begin with our story. Part 1 In the corner of a first class smoking carriage, Mr. Justice Wargrave, lately retired from the bench, puffed at a chigger and ran an interested eye through the political news. The Times He laid the paper down and glanced out of the window. They were running now through the summer set. He glanced at his watch. Another two hours to go. He went over in his mind all that had appeared in his papers about Soldier's Island. There had been its original purchase by American millionaire who was crazy about yetching and an account of his luxurious modern house he had built on his little island of the Devon coast. The unfortunate fact that the news of the third wife of the American millionaire was a bad sailor had led to the subsequent putting up of the house and island for sale. Various growing advertisements of it had appeared in papers. They came the first bland statement that it had been bought by Mr. Owen. After that, the rumors of the gossip writers had started. Soldiers Island had really been bought by Mr. Gabriel Turl, the Hollywood film star. She wanted to spend some months there free from all publicity. Busy Bee had hinted delicately that it was to be an abdot for royalty. Mr. Merriweather had it whispered to him that it had been bought for a honeymoon. Young Lord L had surrendered to Cupid at last. Jonas knew for a fact that it had been purchased by Admiralty with a view of carrying out some very hush-hush experiments. So this part ends here. In my next video, I am going to read part 2 of And There, There Were None. If you liked my today's video, then please like and comment my video and also subscribe my channel to listen to more such stories and follow all my videos regularly. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.